Hello everyone, it's Jeff the Amateur Apologist and today I want to talk about some of the atheists that I've come across on YouTube who are not only just your classic atheists who do not believe there's enough evidence for God, but they're anti-theists. They see um, religion as a hindrance to the human race, it's anti-scientist, religious people are fanatics, we hate everybody, um, you've probably heard it all before, but Instead of me trying to defend the Bible and the Christian faith, I just want to explain to you what atheism is actually is. Um, this is not an attack on, you know, individual atheists. This is just what atheism has to offer the human race. And basically it offers the human race nothing. Athe atheism just claims we exist, that we are a product of some time, chance, and matter, that there is no rhyme and reason we're here, that um, there's no ultimate purpose, there's no moral framework or moral compass that we should abide by. And is that something that we should you know, celebrate? The death of God, as Nitschke put it, or is this something that um, should really bring us into you know, depression? Because if we go by that, Let's just say there's no God. Is that something we should just like, yay, that's great. Or is it something like, you know, what's what's my reason for being here? And, you know, that's what people really yearn to know. Why am I here? Now, the Bible offers, you know, gives you an answer to that is to fellowship and worship God. That's, you know, why we exist. But atheism doesn't have an answer because they can't even ask the question why do we exist? They, there's nobody to ask. It's just, you know, it falls on deaf ears. So um, what atheism tries to do is replace religion or Christianity with some kind of science. Now, science does serve purpose. You know, it makes us healthier. It makes our life easier. But it doesn't answer the moral questions. You know, it doesn't gives us a moral framework. You know, there's psychology that, you know, helps us talk through our problems, but, you know, we can never um, come to an understanding of basic human needs just through science. There's something that we all need, and that is, you know, a purpose. Now, we fill our lives with smaller purpose, like uh, an education, marriage, children, you know, a career, that's all fine, but, you know, why bother? You know, it's just the ultimate question is why, you know, why, why do I exist? Now, the atheist likes to um, point out Christian atrocities throughout the ages, throughout um, history. But if you really look at modern history, but the, hun the past 150 years, that atheism has caused far more deaths than Christianity has in the last 2,000 years. Um, you think about Nazi Germany, that was a naturalistic uh, worldview. They believed the state and Hitler was God. Um, they were um, pu racial purists that the human race would advance if the Aryan race was pure and we got rid of the minor races like the Jews and we were separated from, you know, other races, you know, races had to be kept, you know, pure, you know, like a purebred horse or a purebred dog. Um, did they, did they say, did they um, let Christianity exist? The church exist in Nazi Germany? Yeah, they did, but there's strict restrictions on the church. Um, you couldn't speak out against Hitler and his uh, regime. Uh, and let's be crystal clear. Once the Jews are gone, the church would be next because Christianity is, um, has, you know, an offshoot of Judaism. We honor the Old Testament. Uh, we believe in the laws. We believe that Jews are the chosen people. Uh, the Bible is written predominantly by Jews. So we owe a lot to the Jewish people. So once the Jews are gone, you know, Himmler wanted to get rid of the church because 
uh, the state can't have any competition, and God is the competition. Christians adhere to the God. We, you know, trust God. We will uh, do the will of God before the will of the state. Uh, then we have Stalin, who was in seminary school, read the Communist Manifesto, left seminary school, became a skeptic. And if you know your history, Stalin killed and his communist regime killed millions and millions of people. Um, that's just, you know, two examples. And you got Mao um, in China. Uh, we have that knucklehead in North Korea. Those are, those are, you know, atheist paradise. Those are atheist Rums regimes. Uh, in uh, Stalin's Russia, the Bible was banned. Um, very few people, you know, attended church. You know, you, you, the state was your God. Same thing with North Korea. Religion is banned in North Korea. A lot of, in China, religion is, you know, not banned, but there's, uh, it's very scrutinized. So, um, atheists have no room to talk about the atrocities caused by Christianity. There, uh, there's just far more worse. It's far, you know, chaotic. Um, since Nitschke claimed the death of God, has the world, has the world got better or has it got worse? Um, just, Imagine if we were to put all, take down all the road signs, the lights from all our highways, if we got rid of all the traffic laws, is it going to make things better or worse? You know, are, there's going to be more crashes and death once we get rid of all the uh, speed limits, the stop signs, uh, the red and green lights. No, once we get rid of that, you know, your, your life's going to be in danger. And I, I can't remember who said it, but um, I can't remember what the apologist's name, but he said that if there is no God, everything is permissible. Well, we see that here in America and across the world, that once we distance ourselves from God, uh, you know, sin just runs amok. And it started with homosexuality. Once we accept homosexuality, now we have this transgender movement where they sexualize kids. Kids are being uh, given hormone blockers. Um, next, you know, and this is no lie, pedophilia will be accepted in our culture because it's just another lifestyle. So these are root cause. Atheism is the root cause of this. Once we get rid of God and some kind of moral framework, you know, we are in deep trouble. And we see in the Bible the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, think about that on a global on a global scene. You know, with cell phones and the internet and the computers, you know, we can watch a whole bunch of debauchery all over the world. So uh, anti-theism or the hatred of God and religion, it will not bring... Um, paradise to the world or in nirvana it's impossible they tried that in communist china communist russia nazi germany um once man forgets god all bets are off and that's not how i feel that's just history atheism does not bring anything to replace christianity or god's moral law it just it's a formula for chaos so I appreciate you listening. Thank you and God bless.